might be the different kind of guitar fan. The one that likes the guitars hollowed out. Not the way Gibson does it with weight relief, but actually the way it's supposed to be done with semi-hollow something with the holes and the F, you know, you can lose your pick in there. I don't want to throw it in there. It's an expensive pick. So here we have the Hackstrom. Strom, not Strom. It's not Hackstrom. Hackstrom. Alvar. 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 Uh, that's what that's called. That sounds Swedish. Now, this is a... I'm going to call it vintage typical, kind of uh, atypically shaped, semi-hollow. Semi-hollow because all hollow would be not semi. All hollow would be completely empty, um, just with a block under here. But there's actually a block going all the way through the guitar. And it's hollow here and hollow le here, as they say in France. Now let's go through a couple of stats which I have prepared here on my screen. So, uh, it's a semi-hollow, as I said. It's a laminated maple body. It's a sustain block going all the way through. We don't say what that is, but I'm going to call that maple. Um, the neck is Canadian maple, which you can't see because it's all red. Um, it's a resonator fretboard. Don't know what that means. I think that's kind of what they replaced uh, uh, rosewood with maybe some composite material. We have perloid block inlays, which are rounded off on the sides, which I think is very cool. And we have this double block inlay in the 12th fret. So look at the rounded offices. I think that's kind of very cool. It's slightly different than just the block. It's a rounded off block. Uh, we have a GraphTech Black Tusk saddle. When we say GraphTech, what do we say? We say, Hi, Justin! Um, not Heil Justin. Hi, Justin. Big difference! And I did this. Why the fu- What the- Doing all the wrong things. Um, really, I'm sorry. Hi, Justin, is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's got a 628 millimeter thing, which is about two and a half young trouts. That's the scale. Uh, for you Americans, it's 24.75 inches. Also, the guitar is 24. Uh, 22 medium frets, 43 millimeters here, three position switch, no single coil to be seen anywhere or coil spread or whatever. It's got a long travel. They call this the, you know, that's the, the thing that is in the back and then it goes around the, it's called a long travel something. So you hook in the strings right here. Underneath, it goes over this tunomatic thing, and it's got this very nice kind of Harry Potter-ish thing, but obviously that's not Harry Potter, that's Hackstrom, but I'm going to call it the Harry Potter plaque, which is really kind of neat. A um, little bit of a pickup, which I usually would take off guitars, but on this guitar, which is all kind of fashionable, as we say um, in German, which means... Leslie, what does that mean? Intricately decorated? Okay. Uh, it works. It's called Wild Cherry Trans Transparent. It comes with uh, the Dario EXP 110s. Volume, volume, tone, tone. Which one is which? We'll find out. Volume, volume, tone, tone. Okay. Gibson style, not PRS style. So, we've covered all of it. I've played this guitar for a few days. And I literally cannot find a fault with it. It's got a two or three ply kind of a binding thing here uh, with a cream in the front and the back, which is very nice. Uh, jack plate, yeah, typical for that type of guitar. Um, I literally can't find a fault with it. The neck is a little, tiny little bit chunkier, I think, than on the Ultra Max right there. Um, headstock is also angled, and it's also missing a volute. So I would really, really recommend, please, Hackstone, please give it a little bit of a tita de guitarra, a little bit of a guitar hit, because this is where guitars break. We've seen it on the Gibsons over and over and over again. We have very small dots which are centered. Look at that, people. It's possible. Very tiny dots, but beautifully visible. So, the guitar clocks in at 739 euro, which is under a thousand. I wouldn't call it a budget guitar, but it's definitely in a price range where it's affordable for most people. And where if you're in the market for a 
small body, semi hollow. This is something you should look at. Um, of course, a 335 is bigger and it's not for everyone. So this has kind of almost normal electric guitar dimensions while being a semi hollow. And here are sounds going into the Synergy Sin 50 head with the BBBE module on the BE side, a BB side, which is um, like a, a Bucks and Betty, so it's a Fendery clean. Um, mic'd, uh, miking the, the uh, Tone King cab, which I'm using, it's a Tone King combo, but I'm using the speaker from it, um, with the Lewitt MTP 440, and I'm also going into the Aux, uh, and I'm mixing both of them together. On the Aux, we have a 412 with cream backs. So, Hope that was a lot of information for you. Incompletely clean. Is that correct? Yes. You can hear that it's pushing, pushing a little bit. nice open sound. It's as round and fat as it gets. Some delay. Increased the gain on the amp, I shouldn't have done that. It's, I mean, what do you play on this guitar? Well, I play bluesy things, probably. Let's go this. different uh, but of course you might do I do jazzy things and I think it does that extremely well. Uh, playability is beautiful, the neck is not thin, it's a little bit chunky. No, it's not chunky, it's not, no, it's just, it's like medium, it's just nice to play. Gorgeous sustain. So realistically, what are you going to play with it? Let's go to something uh, Voxy. Take the gain down a bit. We're going to the Morgan AC20. 
So you might do these kind of things. That's the perfect amp paired with this guitar. Of course, the JCM might be a little bit, a little bit too much, but let's see. Why not? But generally speaking, what am I doing? Um, I would go for medium gain stuff with it, but that's just me. Uh, Vladimir Alinin from Catpick Studios has a uh, self-built something, 335E kind of a thing, and he goes pretty damn high gain with that. I would never dare to do that. Uh, but hey, we're all different, and he's most certainly different. Here we are in the mini plexi right there. Now that's a sound I can get used to. That's just that Foo Fighters-y stuff. Can I do that? How do we do this? I can't do it. that all day. There's no effects on it, whatever. This is fun. And that's thickness. Let's go to the um, Black Spirit 200 from Houston Kettner, because again, that's a, an amp that would be in the price range of where someone who has a guitar might buy an amp. I like uh, a couple of different things we're doing. We had the mini plexi, we had the 800. Uh, let's do the. Oh, the Amelia. Again, another amp for around 600 bucks. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
can go back to the Sin 50, go to the BE module for some modded, high gain y, uh, more plexi stuff, a la Van Halen y. <laughs> really works so impressive um, there's quite a bit you can do with this is this your metal axe no but blues ha <laughs> um, and uh, obviously uh, what's that other stuff oh yats le yas uh, jazz yeah uh, Indie stuff, uh, rockabilly, uh, rock stuff, a la Foo Fighters, a uh, Grohl plays a hollow something. Um, got a good weight. It's not super, super light, but it's got a decent weight. Um, you're not going to break your back. Just, just a good tool to have in your arsenal to have those thicker sounds, those just what the sounds you heard. Oh, I hit my glasses. Um, yeah, 739 bucks is really not too much for this. I have a D'Angelico EX25, uh, 35 EX, whatever, that thing. Um, that's a great guitar, but this would fill its place in its shoes pretty much exactly. It's as much fun to play for the stuff that I use the D'Angelico for. I could absolutely use this for, and the D'Angelico was more than twice as much. Came in a case though. This comes in a cardboard box, which in this price range is totally fine. Uh, do I want locking tuners? Yes, I want locking tuners on every guitar. Uh, but you're not gonna do stunt shit with this. So I think we're good with the tuners on here, which are uh, Hackstrom proprietary branded, so it's probably like an OEM product. Um, for the money, I'm totally okay with no locking tuners. I'm okay with the cardboard box because it's a very functional Fun guitar to play with exactly the sounds that you expect from a semi-hollow. Well done, Hackstrom. All the stuff that I would go like, oh, that's it, man, and then the weird headstock and all that. But that's totally fine for this kind of a guitar. You pretty much nailed that shit. So I want to thank Hackstrom. I need to point out that they're paying for this video. If you think that's why I say good stuff, please play the guitar. Then let's talk again. You know, if you watch my channel, that I can't be bought. They're just buying airtime. They're buying the work. They're not buying my opinion. Trust me, there's companies that tried. Um, you don't see them on this channel. This is fun. Check it out if you have a way to get your hands on it. If not, order one. Send it back if you don't like it. If you think I'm totally full of shit. Um, for the money, this is a good instrument. Links below. And thanks to Leslie for switching. What's coming at the end? Animals. Think, open your mind. Breathe, open your eyes and look You are part of something else Come Now we travel through both times